Perhaps expecting computers to be as creative as Beethoven is asking a bit too much. After all, most of us humans aren't. Maybe all we need is a robot with a modicum of personality. So here's a big idea to get the ball rolling. Imagine transplanting an entire life's worth of experiences straight into a robot's hard drive, thus giving it the building blocks of a personality. But how? Well, the seeds of one solution lie in Dublin. I admit that this sounds like the stuff of science fiction, like Blade Runner perhaps, but the idea of digitally capturing memories is not as far-fetched as you might imagine. Around the world, trend-setting boffins are stepping out of their laboratories and embarking on a mission known as, and here comes a new word for you, life logging. The digital capture and storage of things that might otherwise be lost to the drink-addled fug of human memory. So I've decided to be a bit of a guinea pig in a James May life logging experiment. This necklace I'm wearing is not man jewellery, it's a sophisticated camera that takes a picture every 30 seconds, or when it detects movement, or when light levels alter. I wore the sense cam for an entire weekend, and here's what it looks like compressed into 16 seconds. There are over 8,000 photos in the sequence and frankly, it's all a bit of a mess. So I've come to Dublin City University to meet Professor Alan Smeaton, who has developed software that can make sense of my life log. Okay, so James, what we've done is we've taken the sense scan, we've taken your data and we've downloaded all the images and all the sensor values. We've put them into the computer. We've then automatically analysed them to detect boundaries between one event and another event in your day. So, we'll so the software has worked out that that's a, when you say an event, it's like, I mean, that was me sitting down writing my bit for the newspaper. Yeah. So it's recognised that I was broadly always in the same place and doing a particular thing. Well, the event before this was you in the kitchen. And mm. then you did something, you moved from the kitchen probably into your office, and you can see from the time that it pretty much follows on. Well, this and is every day. I make a cup of tea and a piece of toast, then I go in the office and look at the computer and pretend I'm doing some work. That's and, and this has been detected as an event because a, a change has happened, and that's from you being in the kitchen to you going into the office. A look back at my life log reveals that my weekend started off in a pretty ordinary way. A couple of pints and a round of darts down the local. The following day, I moved junk from one corner of the garage to another, before having a quick cuppa. After going for a quick spin on the old goodsy, I decided to wash the car, and then rewarded myself with a pie. But parts of my weekend were a bit different from the norm. I went to the BAFTAs, which is actually rather boring, particularly if you don't win anything. On Monday morning, I was up at the crack of dawn to catch a flight to Dublin to meet Alan. And what's clever about Alan's system is that it can attribute significance to these different events in my life log. OK, so what we have in the SenseCam is we have three days of your life, which is enough to do each day and to segment each day into events. The computer has automatically determined that there's 36 events or happenings. And by looking at each of these 36 events and comparing them to events the previous day and the day before that and the day before that again, we're able to determine how visually unique each event is. So that, mean, that means a bigger picture is a, what the computer determines to be a more unusual event. Yes. Let's imagine this technology being perfected when I was five, so I've been wearing this for nearly 40 years. Uh -huh. Can it make these comparisons over a whole lifetime? of images, well, some theoretically. Of, yeah, some of my colleagues have been wearing these sense cams for years, right? So would, somebody would have millions of images. And what we can do is we can take today's images for each event and compare it against how far in the past you want to go back. And then it struck me, part of me and part of my life had been absorbed onto that computer's hard drive. It made me wonder whether I was looking at the relationship between machines and humankind in a slightly outmoded way. 